Plough and Other Stars is an exhibition that brings together work in the museum by three artists, Richard John Jones, Ricardo Arena and Yazan Khalili. And then within the exhibition, but outside of the space of the museum, we also have a lecture performance by Lara Caldi and Yazan Khalili, screenings by Ricardo Arena and a series of ongoing unannounced interventions by the Centre for Dying on Stage. This exhibition really started with the work of Ricardo Arena and then out of that my interest grew in the direction of other artists who maybe have an affinity with some of the interests that he explored through his work Babylon, which is based on these islands off the coast of Russia in the White Sea called the Solovki Islands, a very ancient ritualised land and through studying these islands and going there and spending time there he became very interested in Russian cosmism which is a philosophical movement that really promotes life extension through any means possible. Ricardo's work brings together this beautiful celestial collage of images that are forced into a constellation, into a narrative. And this narrative has been born out of a very intuitive personal journey. Richard John Jones is a very wonderful artist originally from the UK. Richard often connects his work with histories that have been overlooked or forgotten and tries to bring them to life using very basic craft technologies for this exhibition, which is a completely new commission. Uh, he's thinking about something that was called the Island Book. It was a series of books around in the 5th century, which acted like a kind of way to describe or illustrate other lands that were unknown. And so Richard is mining this to try to reawaken some of the kind of monstrous creatures that were born originally in these books. The work of Yazan Khalili is in the space of the exhibition and it's a video work that actually features Lara Khaldi, his partner, and also the wonderful curator and artist who's going to be coming to IMA in November to present a lecture performance. So the two work together very often, uh, devising these lecture performances that are really based on the form of a letter as a kind of way to transcend the linear restrictions of time and space. The artists from the Centre for Dying on Stage will come to the space of the exhibition and use some of the ideas within the show as touchstones or jumping off points in the development of a new theatrical production. I really wanted to invite artists to come and engage with the ideas of the exhibition and basically use the, the space of the exhibition as a very functional and practical uh, area to rehearse what they're going to do or talk about and think about what they're going to do and in some way make them into something that's almost reincarnatable through this idea of performing the play subsequently. One of the things that I'm really interested in is the overlap between performance and performativity, where performance is something like a scripted scenario that tries to convince a person of an idea, something that's kind of pre-planned. Performativity, on the other hand, is when an idea is performed to the extent that it actually becomes a kind of reality. And a lot of the artists who I've worked with for this exhibition are interested in this idea of uh, fiction as a kind of practice or fiction as a methodology and so one of the things that I hope the exhibition does is kind of bring that to life in a way by talking about death and the potential for art to be a space to think about the ideas around immortality. Really the most important thing for a viewer to remember when they're experiencing the exhibition trying to engage with the works is that you're alive and that actually as an entity that's living and alive you're at the very centre of the exhibition.